Welcome to our channel Travel Tips and Tricks. I'm your guide to explore the best place in Tokyo, Japan. We're here to help you navigate around the globe, one city at a time, offering you the most useful, practical, and fun travel advice. If you love to explore, crave new experiences, and want to make the most of your journey, consider subscribing and turning on notifications to stay updated with our latest travel tips. So stick around and let's dive into our Tokyo adventure. First, let's talk about the climate in Tokyo. This bustling metropolis is a city of four distinct seasons, each offering a unique charm. The winter months from December to February are pretty mild with occasional snowfall. The temperature hovers around 5 degrees Celsius, making it a lovely time to enjoy the city's winter illuminations. Then comes the spring stretching from March to May, when Tokyo is painted in hues of pink with cherry blossoms in full bloom. It's a sight to behold, but do remember your jacket as temperatures can still dip. The summer, from June to August, can be hot and humid with temperatures soaring up to 35 degrees Celsius. It's also the season of vibrant festivals and spectacular firework displays. The fall, from September to November, is a time of cool breezes and autumn leaves. The city transforms into a canvas of red, gold, and orange. With this information, you can pack your suitcase accordingly. Now that you know what to pack, let's talk about what to eat. Tokyo is a food paradise and there are three dishes that you simply cannot miss. First up is sushi, a classic Japanese delicacy. For an authentic sushi experience, head to Tsukiji Fish Market where you'll find fresh seafood straight from the ocean. Second on our list is ramen, a hearty bowl of noodle soup with various toppings. You'll find ramen shops all around Tokyo, but for a unique experience, Try Ichiran Ramen in Shibuya. Last but not least, don't miss out on trying yakitori, a popular street food. These skewers of grilled chicken can be found in many izakayas, traditional Japanese pubs, especially in the vibrant district of Shinjuku. So there you have it, three must-try dishes that will surely add flavor to your Tokyo adventure. Your taste buds are in for a real treat. Before you start exploring, you'll need to know about the local currency and the best time to visit. In Tokyo, the currency used is the Japanese yen. While credit cards are widely accepted in the city, it's always handy to have some cash for smaller establishments or street food stalls. You'll find plenty of ATMs around the city where you can withdraw yen, but remember to check the exchange rates and fees. Now, when is the best time to visit Tokyo? Well, that largely depends on what you want to experience. If you're keen on seeing the famous cherry blossoms, Plan your visit between late March and early April. For those who prefer a cooler climate with less crowded tourist spots, the autumn months from September to November are ideal. And if you're a fan of snow, you'll love Tokyo in the winter, particularly in January and February. With this in mind, you can plan your trip for the best possible experience. Now let's take a virtual stroll through Tokyo's most iconic locations. Starting off our voyage, we have the vibrant district of Shibuya, home to the world's busiest pedestrian crossing, Shibuya Scramble. This bustling hub is a testament to Tokyo's energetic spirit. Next up, we have the Serene Meiji Shrine. Nestled in a lush forest, it provides a tranquil escape from the city's fast-paced life. It's a place where modernity and tradition harmoniously blend. Third on our list is the Asakusa District, where you'll find the historic Sensoji Temple, Tokyo's oldest temple. Its grand architecture is a sight to behold. Then we take a leap into the future at Odaiba, a man-made island brimming with high-tech entertainment and stunning views of the Rainbow Bridge. Fifth, we have the Tsukiji Fish Market, a seafood paradise that offers the freshest sushi you'll ever taste. It's a feast for the senses. Next, we visit Ueno Park, a spacious public park that houses a zoo, several museums, and beautiful cherry blossom trees that bloom in spring. Our seventh stop is Akihabara, a haven for anime and manga enthusiasts. Its vibrant streets are adorned with neon-lit billboards and bustling shops. Next, we explore the upscale district of Ginza, known for its luxury shopping, gourmet dining, and the iconic Kabukiza Theater. Ninth on our list is the Roppongi district, a dynamic area known for its art scene, nightlife, and the stunning Roppongi Hills skyline. And finally, we reach the top of Tokyo at the Tokyo Skytree. Standing at over 2,000 feet, it's the world's tallest tower and offers a panoramic view of the city. These locations are just waiting for you to discover them. 
Finding the perfect place to stay and ensuring your safety are key parts of any trip. Let's dive into how you can make your Tokyo adventure both budget-friendly and safe. Firstly, accommodation. Tokyo offers a wide range of options to suit all budgets. If you're looking for an authentic Japanese experience, consider staying in a ryokan. These traditional Japanese inns offer a tranquil atmosphere and often include a home-cooked meal. For those on a tighter budget, capsule hotels or manga cafes can be a unique, affordable choice. For longer stays, renting an apartment or a house through a trusted platform can offer great value for money. Don't forget to check the location's proximity to public transport and popular sites to ensure convenience and save on travel costs. Now let's talk safety. Tokyo is generally a safe city, but it's always important to stay vigilant. Always keep an eye on your belongings, especially in crowded areas like train stations or popular tourist spots. Don't forget to respect local customs and etiquette. A little courtesy goes a long way. If you're planning to explore Tokyo's nightlife, remember to always travel with a friend or in a group. Stick to well-lit areas and avoid walking alone late at night. And as always, moderation is key when consuming alcohol. Emergencies can happen, so it's crucial to have important numbers at hand. The general emergency number in Japan is 110 for police and 119 for ambulance and fire services. Keep your hotel's address and contact details on you at all times. And let someone know your plans for the day. Lastly, consider travel insurance. It might seem like an unnecessary cost, but it can provide peace of mind, especially in the event of unexpected medical expenses or trip cancellations. With these tips, you're set for a safe and comfortable visit. As we wrap up, let's cover some important do's and don'ts and share some insider tips. Now, when visiting Tokyo, there are a few cultural norms you'll want to keep in mind to respect the local culture. First, never stick your chopsticks upright in your food. This is a major faux pas, as it's reminiscent of a tradition used in funeral rites. Instead, lay them down on the chopstick rest when you're not using them. Another important thing to remember is not to tip. Unlike many other countries, tipping is not customary in Japan and can even be seen as rude. If you've received exceptional service, a polite thank you will suffice. Now onto some hacks to make your visit even more enjoyable. Firstly, take advantage of the efficient public transportation system. Tokyo's train and subway lines can get you anywhere you need to go, and they're a lot more affordable than taxis. Plus, you'll get a real feel for the city. Another great tip is to visit the city's many convenience stores or konbini as they're known locally. They offer an array of goods from mouth-watering snacks to essential items and they're open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It's like having a mini supermarket at your fingertips. Finally, if you're looking to explore the city's nightlife, consider getting a Nomi Hudai or all-you-can-drink deal. Many bars and restaurants offer this option and it can be a fun and budget-friendly way to enjoy Tokyo's vibrant night scene. Remember, immersing yourself in the local culture is the best way to truly experience a city. So, don't be afraid to try new foods, speak a few words of Japanese, and embrace the unique customs and traditions of Tokyo. By keeping these tips in mind, you'll not only have a great trip, but also respect the local culture. Wow, we've covered a lot today. From Tokyo's varying climate, mouth-watering local dishes, and the currency used, to the most favorable time to visit, major festivals, and the top 10 places you can't miss. We also shared some budget-friendly stay recommendations and important safety tips. Do remember the things you shouldn't do here and some hacks to make your visit worthwhile. Thank you for joining us on this virtual journey. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video with your friends. Safe travels.